Good day everyone, this is the Balanced Scorecard presentation of Group 4. Our chosen target business is the JV Print Shop, located at Puruk Uno, Ginuyuran, Valencia City, Bukidnon, and was established on October 2019. The services offered are document and photo printing, rush ID, scan, photocopy, lamination, and many more. It is owned by Mr. Jarek C. Pakumios, a 24-year-old entrepreneur. The vision and mission statement of JV Print Shop. Vision, to become the most trusted service provider here in Ginyuran, to become recognized by the people through our skillmanship and competitiveness towards reaching our goals. And the mission is to provide quality printing and layout services at a fair price and timely manner to our valued customers. So the vision and mission statement here, the JV Print Shop already have their mission and vision statement. However, we have revised it a little and applied our comments and suggestions based on the VMGO on the Activity 1 on our balance scorecard. Values. First, one-stop printing shop. A compact go-to printing services is a convenient and easy-going access to services. Students, office workers, and others can avail from the very same shop services related to printing, book binding, school supplies, rush ID, and many more. Embracing change. As a service provider and technology-based services, it is with a great advocacy to embrace change. Continuously adapt to the changing needs of the customers with the greatly updated printing services. Evolving as a diversely skilled, ready-to-learn attitude and face challenges. All first, valuing and treating fairly and respectfully on each one of the customers are observed to maintain harmony and acquire customers' trust. Strengthening the relationship between a customer and service provider. Do more with less. Resourcefulness with technology and operations. Seeking for new methods to improve processes, operations, and work efficiently. Combining and sharing resources and make the most of it. Working collaboratively, handle and manage the services provided. Strategies. First, using platforms such as social media to promote and advertise the services and products provided. Creative marketing approaches to attract and communicate to customers in a more advanced ways. Number two, offering discounts to customers, especially students, is a means to acquire services and have a competitive advantage to competitors. Number three, introducing timely services and knowing trends for a much broader approach and penetrating customers' interest. Roles and Responsibilities. Jerick C. Pacomias, he is our executive sponsor and assume ownership for the Balanced Scorecard project. He also the one who provides background information to the team on strategy and methodology. Balanced Scorecard Champion, which is Krista Joy and Teleso, she is the one who coordinates the meetings, plans, tracks, and reports team results to all audiences, and also provides feedback to the executive sponsor. Next are team members, which is Shaina Mi Jonaldo and Alexa Mi and Medo. They are the one who provides knowledge of business unit or function operations, and also act as Balanced Scorecard Ambassador. Last but not the least in the Balanced Scorecard team roles and responsibilities which is Organizational Change Expert which are headed by Gian Inco and Rochelle Fabre. They are the one who increases awareness of organizational change issues and works with the team to produce solutions mitigating change related risks. Next are the objectives, measures, targets, and initiatives in each Balanced Scorecard perspective. For the financial perspective, the objectives are to increase profitability, minimize operating cost, and increase profit margin. On its measures, net profit per month, operating cost per month, and streamline operations and reduce operating expenses. For its targets are 35% increase in profit, 30% decrease in operating cost, and 35% increase in profit margin. For its initiatives, use advertisements and minimize cost, find affordable substitute on supplies, seek quality affordable supplier and build relationship. For the customer perspective, 
The objectives are improve customer experience, increase market presence, enhance customer relationship. For its measures, service rating, sales volume, and customer retention. For its targets, 40% increase in customer satisfaction, 40% increase in sales, at least 35% increase on returning customers. For its initiatives, accommodate and respecting each customer, marketing strategy through advertisements on online platforms, and provide discounts on selected services. For its internal perspective, the objectives are to provide quality services and to maximize operational effectiveness. For its measures are customer satisfaction and employee work performance. For the targets, receive 50% positive feedback and at least 40% increase in oper operational effectiveness. For its initiatives, using quality supplies and enhanced skills and regular training and measuring performance. For the learning and growth perspective, the objectives are to improve knowledge and skills to effectively communicate to customers. For its measures, workshop and employee training and employer and customers feedback. For the targets, join at least one, one workshop every four months and at least 40% increase in effective communication. For its initiatives is provide skill-related videos to employees and train and educate employees to communicate effectively. For the measures, we come up with these measures based on the objectives for us to have a basis to um, determine whether we are meeting our objectives and moving toward the successful implementation of our strategy. For the targets provided here, these are based on estimations and these are also important to motivate and inspire breakthrough performance. So the targets make the result derived from measurement meaningful and um, also a basis if it is still aligned and whether um, we are doing a great job. So for the initiatives here, the possible initiatives provided here are helpful to guarantee positive outcome and ensure that it meets or exceeds our performance targets. Now we have the cost and effect linkages whereby the lag measures which are in the financial perspective is to increase in revenue and profit, in customer perspective is to increase in customer retention and trust, in internal business per perspective is to is improvement of service quality and flexibility, and last is in the learning and growth perspective which is to improve quality service performance are the end goal and the result of the lead measures. So this is the strategy map, this is the flow of the strategy map starting from the learning and growth which is to effectively communicate to customers and to improve knowledge and skills, which, which results to the internal perspective, which is to provide quality services and then proceeded to, the, to maximize operational effectiveness, which leads to the customer pers perspective, which are to improve customer experience and enhance customer relationship, which then again um, proceed to the financial perspective which increases profit margin and minimize cost and finally to increase profitability and that would be the end of our presentation thank you for listening